hello, welcome to some more testing with the uh, EcoFlow Delta Pro. Um, today's laundry day, uh, so I figured it would be a good day to find out how much energy both a washing machine and a tumble dryer use. I have a feeling I have no problem at all with the washing machine. I am less sure about the tumble dryer, uh, but I think it's going to be the capacity that has the issue and not the, not the, uh, the amount of energy it requires to run. I wouldn't normally run uh, the tumble dryer on a day like today. The weather is quite good, but the battery's been full for a few days. And I really want to get it cycled again. Um, I, I'm still in the middle of uh, building the um, extension cable for the solar, uh, so I can have the EcoFlow in my study um, and charging inside rather than charging outside, which is what I've been having to do recently, uh, which is... Something I don't enjoy doing, to say the least, having a battery as expensive as this one outside. Anyway, um, I'm just going to put this on a cold wash. Assuming it turns on. Oh, I need to turn DC uh, AC power on. There we go. And tumble dryer should turn on. So, short wash. This machine's not amazing anymore. Um, it does not do a spin at the end very well unless you trigger it manually. So you just leave it there, turn it down to 30. That's all I need. Um, and hit start. I'm going there. Barely use 20 watts. Sixty watts there when the motor started turning the drum. Unfortunately, I don't have data in this area of the house, um, so well, the signal's not real brilliant. Uh, so I won't be able to keep an eye on this using the mobile app, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this is going to be running for about an hour and well, eighteen minutes according to the clock. Um, so I'll try and pop back regularly. And Give uh, a quick update. Well, almost immediately as I turn my phone off, I think it started heating the water, so that's using 2100 watts. Um, so that's a good sign that this thing's working pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm curious how long it'll do this for. Oh, it just stopped. Okay. Apparently, I just caught it at the right time. So it's now dropped down to about 50 watts, and that's just being used to turn the drum. It's interesting how much the weight of the water's added to that, because uh, it was only using about 20 watts before the water was added. I wonder if it's doing more than just turning the drum. Okay, I have a feeling this will be a bit noisy, um, but there's... The washing machine's been on for about an hour. Uh, and it's just done a pretty big spin, where it was... Uh, quite loud actually and it was using about 400 watts it's now just slowed down and almost nothing actually that's interesting so yeah it's used 5% of the battery so far um, so not a lot at all uh, I was a bit surprised by that so I think once it's heated up the water it doesn't actually use all that much energy uh, which is quite interesting because it did drop about two to three percent just by heating up the water even though that was only 30 degrees I, I can see why they recommend only um, washing at 30 or with low temperatures it makes a huge difference so the main wash cycle and rinse cycle has just finished um, we're about to start the spin cycle uh, so just start that and we've jumped up to 200-ish watts there. So I've used about 7% of the battery so far on this load. I wouldn't imagine it'll be much lower than 90%. So less than 10% of this battery has been used to do the wash. That's quite interesting. So that'll be 10 loads per battery charge. 
washing machine is actually really quite efficient in terms of what it's doing. I've got to say I'm impressed. So we're now slow spin using about 100 watts. So this kind of spinning, floating around 100 watts, between about 80 and 120, that sort of territory. A bit faster there. 50 watts. 300, 500, 600, 700 watts, then drop down to 26 watts. The washing machine's now finished. It's just in its standard anti-crease mode where it just rolls backwards and forwards. Um, we're down to 91%, um, that's just below 100%, so you're probably talking about 320-330 uh, watt hours uh, to run this machine for the full hour and a half roughly that it took. Um, I think that's pretty reasonable uh, for a washing machine and the EcoFlow Delta Pro had no problem running this load at all. Um, just going to transfer my uh, bedding th into the tumble dryer now and see how that does. I've got a feeling it'll be quite different. Bedding is now in the tumble dryer. I'm just going to use uh, the one touch mode. And start. Three hours, wow. There it goes. And immediately using 200, no, 2,100 watts there, coming in at uh, 2,090, 2,080. Good luck if you can hear me, this is a lot louder than the washing machine. I have a feeling that this will be a constant load over the entire run of the tumble dryer, which is about three hours. Um, I won't make you sit through the entirety of that, I certainly won't be. The tumble dryer has now been running about 30 minutes or so, um, somewhere around there, and it's been at a constant 2000 watts the entire time. Um, and we've dropped from just above 90% to nearly 60%, so 63%, just dropped to 62%. Um, so that's 30% of the battery in 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, that's a huge difference to the washing machine. Um, the tumble dryer says it's going to take about 41 minutes to complete and we've just dropped down to 59 minutes left on the EcoFlow Delta Pro at the current usage rate. So this might be interesting uh, because I think I left it so the EcoFlow will turn itself off at 10%. Uh, so I don't think it'll quite finish the tumble dry. It'll be really interesting to see just how much energy this used. Um, I worked out that the washing machine used at the April rates uh, for electricity would be about 15 pence, a little less than 15 pence. Uh, I have a feeling this will be more like probably about 60 pence on the tumble dryer which is ridiculous. The tumble dryer is now finished. It's been a little bit over an hour and the screen has gone off but it's now at 54%. So it's used about 1.3 uh, kilowatt hours. Um, so this battery could comfortably do two loads quite easily uh, of both washing machine and tumble dryer, which is really useful to know and quite interesting. Um, so this could be used for off-grid quite comfortably uh, for a, a tiny home or something like that, uh, even just as it is, so long as you are reasonably comfortable with uh, your other usage um, using batteries at the 12 volts uh, sorry using lights at 12 volts in a tiny home would not use a lot of energy so it'd mostly come down to computer usage or other things like that which I think for, in a tiny home setting this would be a fantastic little machine um, certainly on uh, days where the sun is certainly high enough anyway 